So we'll be good. This will be so easy. Oh yeah, until they see this. Corn pile. Let me show you guys how we deliver corn. How's it going, folks? I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the subscribe button. This morning, we're going to uh, head over to Hunting Land. It's a small three and a half acre food plot that we're gonna be doing. We're gonna spray it, basically kill the grass, and then we're gonna seed it. But I'm gonna take the truck. It's a smaller scale to show you guys that you don't need the huge rig if you don't want it. You can do it out of your pickup truck. It's just a little bit smaller. But we're gonna load this up. We're gonna take the drone. We're gonna take four or five batteries with us. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna fill this up with my water, and then I'll just pump it from there into the drone. Super easy, shouldn't take long at all. We're gonna have a little bit of a load on a Toyota Tundra. It's not a full-size pickup, but we'll still do it easily. All right, we got one drone loaded up. We got the spreader on there. We're gonna show you guys how you can use this spreader to take corn out to your uh, stand as well. It's super easy. We're not gonna be spreading seed today. We're just basically going to nuke everything there, kill the grass and stuff, and then we'll go back. We'll spread food pot seed later. We got the, the drone loaded up. We got the spreader tank, and we also got the sprayer tank with us as well. We got water, and we got the generator, and we're loaded up. We're gonna head over there, get this knocked out. Not gonna take long at all. Hopefully this video is interesting. If you like it, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment. Let us know what you'd like to see. We're gonna head out there, and see how quickly we can do this. Take this out. I just want to struggle a little bit here. Oh yeah. Okay. We should measure it. See how far it is. I'm basically have to take this stuff. 250. Oh. This is not the way to take corn out to your uh, hunting stand. Let me show you the new way to do this. We'll take this 100 pounds of corn. We'll have it back there in a couple seconds. I am going to take this off. If I can reach it, that's going to be hard. There it is. That way, when I want to drop the corn, it'll just drop straight down. Now I can throw the corn in there. <clears throat> this will be so easy. It's almost silly how easy this will be. We got a little bit of ryegrass seed in there. That's fine. Okay. All right. Oh, this is funny. I never thought I would be using a drone to take corn out until they see this. So I'm Mike with Drone Deer Recovery. Let me show you guys how we deliver corn. And you could do it just like this. Super easy. How perfect. Corn pile, just like that, with the drone. Or if you gotta spread it, you can just fly around and spread it. That's the new way to spread corn. So if you need to put a corn pile out and you don't want to go out here, like spread your scent, just fly the drone back, boom, drop it right here. Never even get into your spot that you want to put some corn out. So great idea. And another thing is you could make this thing fly a route that it would do that. So if you have a road or something that you want to have a row of corn, you're going to just program it in and it'll fly that route and there's your corn. We're going to kill the grass, then we're going to seed it and hope that the grass will lay down onto the, the seed and that'll be enough to hold moisture and germinate the seed. Dude, this is this is a perfect scenario to show you that the drones to kill this is what you need. Because to try to run this over with a four-wheeler is gonna suck. We got a lot of grass, so if we spray it and it kills it and covers that seed, we get enough rain, it might germinate. But if we can do this and it's successful, that'd be huge. Okay, that's the wind we want. It's blowing right over there, so we'll be good. Here we go, this is not gonna take long. We got autumn olive in here. The drone will get this knocked out real quick. Should not take long at all. One thing that we wanted to do to make sure that we don't get a lot of drift is check the wind. So we filled up the tank first with water, ran a, a couple routes and checking the wind. I came up here to the field, checked it, had good wind. So that's another thing when you're doing it with aerial, you gotta have that in the back of your mind. You wanna take wind in consideration because you are up a little bit farther. Today we had a good wind blowing the direction we wanted it to so we don't get drift going one way or the other. Aerial application using drones, even in small areas like this is going to be a very vital tool for people or implement is what they say. 
So we just got this knocked out. It was three acres, we, not a big project at all. Got it off the truck, filled it up, came in here about five minutes, got it knocked out. But this type of stuff with how thick it is, it'd be real hard to get a four wheeler with a sprayer through there. So yeah, using the drone is real easy on stuff like this. So if, if it's something that you guys want to get into, you can get all the equipment and stuff from us. You can go to newwayag.com or dronedeerrecovery.com. Check it out. We'll be back out here in a couple days. We're going to spread our seed and we'll see what it does. You know, this is an experiment. Who knows what it'll really end up being like. One of those things I want to just experiment and we'll try to keep you guys posted and we'll go from there. It's going to be about 10 to 12 days till we see if it really takes. How's it going folks? We are back. We're going to check on that uh, three acre plot we sprayed last time. Would have been in like two seconds for you guys, but it's now been 10 days since we've been here. So I just want to check on it and see what it looks like. When we talked last time, I was going to basically seed it with the drone and then hope that everything lays down and it germinates. But it's been super dry here in Ohio, so we're not going to do that. We're not going to spread it with the, uh, the drone. I just, I want the seed to germinate and uh, that's probably not going to work with how dry it is. I'll have to drill it in. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. We're going to check it, see how it did. And then we're gonna drop some corn with the drone since we're here anyhow. Dude, I can see that it's yellow already. Like those tops. See, so there's definitely gonna be stuff that's gonna be dying, but there's a lot of woody vegetation in here. So the woody vegetation is gonna take different chemical, like Tordon or Gordon or something like that. But you can literally see the line where it was sprayed. You see that? It's definitely dying. It's not, not brown toast like I thought it might be, but. Oh yeah, there's definitely things that are gonna die. Like even these are turning yellow. This whole patch is yellow. You can see how this shriveled up. If I'd wanna kill it for sure, I would just dose it again, yeah. but then I would add some stuff to it to really get onto that woody vegetation. Yeah. Okay, let's go uh, put some corn out. So easy, gotta love it. That's a wrap. We didn't quite do what we thought we were gonna originally do in this video, but I just don't think it's a good idea to spread seed out there if it's this dry. Threw some corn out for the uh, deer. Hopefully they'll be there on opening day and we can uh, get a deer. I haven't gone opening day in quite a few years. We'll see if I get to go out this year. Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Give that uh, like uh, a push. Share it with your buddies, and we'll see you guys on the next one.